out here? Where's... Glad to see you back. We had some excitement while you were away. Uh, I found some excitement too. You first, what happened? Kino went off the Riften to try to take the fort all by her lonesome, so Cayman and Zaytest went after her. She what? Is she okay? Dunno. I think she's still down at the fort. Zaytest is inside sleeping right now. I think Inigo is in the sauna. But yeah, Z and Cayman went in, cleaned house and got Kino a stable. Z came back, but Cayman is still in Riften. Stable? What you mean, stable? She took a sword to the face. Oh no. Yeah. If it wasn't... I'd have gone with them, but... Zaytas doesn't know about us, I don't think. Ah, uh, oh, right. I forgot you. I... Uh, yeah. How'd you fare? Any weirdness last night, other than having a really bad hair day? <laughs> and worrying about Kinoa? No, nothing out of the usual. Venison dinner. Ah, I, I see. Uh, hmm. So what kind of adventure did you find? <laughs> well, besides the vampires, I've got a message for Ulfric. Oh? Markarth switched sides. Tullius marched an army and enforced the Yarl to surrender. Who, Silverblood? Yeah, that figures. His brother was a coward. Are you the one who- You didn't hear anything, but I might have been. You killed him? What? No! I'm the one who cleared out the mine. Didn't I tell you? Um, maybe not. I'm getting old and forgetting things. <laughs> I'm still young, what's my excuse? Alright, Wee Bairn, let me tell Indigo we're off to see Elfric in case Z wakes up and wonders where we've gone. Galbar's still in Riften, right? I think so. I haven't seen anyone in uniform come north except the usual patrols. <laughs> in the go? Yes? Board goods back. We're going to go report to Ulfric if they test asks. Okay. If you need the backup, I will be in my cell. Repenting. <laughs> Alright, after we tell him, I suspect he'll send us out to get Galmar in the loop. Should probably take the two cats as well. Why's that? So we can escort Kinoa back up here without too much trouble. I'm guessing they haven't moved since it's daylight out. Oh, true. And then, what you wanna bet, we're gonna be the ones Galmar sends back out to the reach. <laughs> no bet. We've earned something of a reputation after all. We have indeed done that. Hail, hail, the gang's all here. Jeez. No offense, but you look... Well, you look like you've got the tax yet or something. I feel like I got pummeled to death by a bear and then resurrected by an amateur necromancer. That's pretty specific. Best I could come up with. Yeah, I look like crap. Feel worse. Well, this might be bad news then. Well, I mean, it is bad news, but the timing is worse. What happened? Markarth flipped back to the Imperials? Someone killed the Jarl's brother and Tullius marched an army in. Damn it. Well, now we know where Fort Newgrad's reinforcements ended up. <laughs> and now of course we're down the heavy fighter. Damn it, I am so sorry. I'm... I'm an idiot. I was reckless. I made a mistake. I... I could have died. Easy, Kinoa. You didn't die and that's what matters now. We'll get you back on your feet as soon as possible. I can't believe you all are so... None of you are angry at me for this? No, of course not. Mmm, maybe a little, but I'm happier you survived. This is how decent people operate, Kinoa. With forgiveness, or at least understanding. Consider, if you will, that your normal isn't everyone else's normal. 
Yeah, you don't have to kick yourself just because no one else is doing it. Yep, what they said. Well, damn. I... Thank you. Of course you're not gonna be fighting until your head is better. I'm more concerned about the ribs she busted. Oh. Bruised pretty bad. I don't think it's broken, though. If it means you're not breathing right, it's a problem, no matter how bad it is. So we are down the shield, Maiden, but... I don't know, Z, you and Kama took this fort with a couple of soldiers that were here, right? <laughs> Actually, it was mostly him. I just dragged Kinwa out of the pile of bodies she stacked up before things went Bamarava. <laughs> what was that? Bamarava? It means, like, falling face down into a pile of sticky weeds. Sticky. Like, like those things with the barbs that you have to pull up with a stick because otherwise they attach to your fingers? What? What kind of weeds have they got in elsewhere? Angry ones. Pretty much describes the situation perfectly if you ask me. So, due to my incredible lack of self-awareness and intelligence... Stop doing that. Right, sorry. We need someone. We need Arden. Uh, Gren, you feeling alright? A little shaken, but not too bad. He won't fight, you realize. Or I wouldn't make him anyway. True, but he knows how to keep everyone organized. I was gonna suggest getting him back just because he's a better strategist or tactician or whatever than I'll ever be. Strategy is big picture, tactics is field maneuvers. Oh! Come to think of it, he's pretty good at both. There's a lot more to being a commander than standing at the front and shouting. <laughs> I wish Galmar could hear that one. <laughs> Ow. Sorry. So the plan is to bring Kinwa back home and then go see if we can convince Mr. Archmage to stop moping? Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> I'll come along with whoever decides to go. Not you, Kinoa. No arguments here. I'm more than happy to sit quietly and think about what I've done for a while. I'll go with you, Cayman. He lost his father in the Great War, right? Well, I lost a son. Maybe I can get through to him somehow. Oh. Oh no. I'm so sorry. Eh, thanks, I think. Mordgood, Z, Inigo. Any of you coming with us? If it's all the same to everyone else, I would like to sleep some more when we get back. That was a lot of sprinting and fighting yesterday, and my legs are still cursing me. No, nope, that sounds good to me. Someone's gonna have to stay back and make sure nobody tries to get into the house while you two are gone. What, do you think anyone would? You know, I didn't until recently. But yeah, maybe. You two just be careful going, alright? What happened? Well, um, you have... I think you've got people after you. Thalmor? Yeah, that's old news. They've been looking for me since... Well, since I left Valenwood, pretty much. <laughs> How'd you piss them off? Ah, uh, we don't talk about Valenwood, remember? Oh, right, sorry. If I tell you all that's where and how I lost my mother, would you agree to drop the subject? Bevec. By the Allmaker, do I have to adopt every single one of you? Sorry, Gran, I'm already your grandkid. <laughs> Consider the subject dropped. Thank you kindly. You all should get moving before nightfall. Uh, but you can't... I'm fast. If the sun sets before you make it back, I might well catch up with you. I don't want her traveling at night, though. Why not? Imperial patrols, ambushes, dragons, wolves... Trolls. Oh yeah, trolls. You do have a fun night. Alright, alright, good point. Let's go. I'll be moving kind of slow, so... No zooms. Can do. I mean, if you and Inigo want to go scout ahead... And thanks for saving me from my own hubris. Both of you. All of you. Debt paid. I promise I won't eat anyone while I'm here. I'll probably sleep, actually. Eat? Oh, that took me a second. Hey, let's go! Well, there you are! You, uh, ready to go? I am if you are. 
You didn't really have to do the eyes thing. I know about you. I know you do. How many of the people will probably pass along the way know about me? Yeah, that's fair. Ah, uh, how do we want to do this? Guy scared me. You coming? Everything all right? Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what the best way there might be. How good are you with the cold? Uh, well... I seem to be better at it than most. Alright, we'll... Probably come up there then and swim across. Sounds good. Wasn't too rough of a journey, I take it. Nah, Kinoa kept pretty quiet most of the way back. I don't really blame her. Are you kidding me? What? Uh, just stay back a little bit. Calm down. Are you calm? I'm not gonna use this axe on you, I promise. You just startled me, that's all. Are we going? You know, I'm gonna have to get used to what you look like. Saw this shape looming out of the fog and didn't really know if it was you or not. Careful. Those wisps probably don't mean nice things. Yeah, I know.
No, you go ahead. <laughs> They're long dead. Not exactly my preference. I see the bear. And I think it sees you. Lovely. That guy just spat at you, didn't he? Yeah, I wouldn't recommend eating him either, frankly. He smells a little, well, afflicted. stand here protecting me from a bear. to do that. You know, now I'm wondering which is more deadly, your claws or your halberd? That guy saw my eyes.
Yeah, obviously we're not going to be going to Winterhold with you like this. So... We'll have to wait somewhere until morning, unfortunately. Or at least whenever you turn back. Jeez, you're tall. Smell Arden. I don't think he's here. And also, that is very, very loud. I'd appreciate it if you didn't do that in my ears. I think that's another afflicted. want to stay here for the night. I'll keep watch, don't worry. Are you going to stay in the stables? Really? <laughs> Alright, suit yourself. Right, but runes take significantly less concentration even if they're more convoluted in terms of magicka weaving. Well, if you say so. Yeah, let me show you. I promise it'll help with the cloak spell issue. I wish that I had your optimism. Right, let me explain. Weaving a cloak is there he is, my man in his element. A rare and wonderful sight. Obviously he seems happy. You seem happy, I think. I'm not looking forward to this conversation, but watching him work is soothing. I don't know that feeling. Here's hoping you two work out better than Loftier and I did. Should we interrupt him? I don't know. That elf lady at the gate said not to, but... Well, if we stand here long enough... Uh, no. Uh, that was not supposed to happen. Uh, oh, Cayman. Janvita. I don't ask what you two are doing here, but I think I know. Yeah, I realize I'm the last person you want to see right about now, but... No, no, it's fine. Jazargo, keep working on your buffer space. Make sure you keep the edges of the spell from freeing. You've got tremendous power, but in this case it's a bit too much. I'm sure you're sick of people telling you that, but believe me, I've been there. Keep it toned down until you have a handle on the space you need, then start working up again. Gisargo understands. Many thanks. Keep at it. You've come a long way over the winter. You're making good progress. Alright, let's go talk upstairs. You know, I never could have seen you teaching. You seem so... Nebulously attached to reality at times. That. Ha ha, very funny. 
I do in fact have a license and am actually a registered Master of Enchantment back home. Granted, I'm only licensed to teach enchanting and history back in Coral. But Jizago is exactly the kind of destruction student I can work with. Long and storied academic career, that one. Which you've heard about, I take it? Some of it. I've spared you the most boring parts, like actually writing the paper for which I did this to my face. Not nearly as exciting. Right, so you're here to ask me to come back. Actually, we're here to tell you that Kinoa probably lost her eye and almost died in a battle. What? what? The... Has she... What? She hasn't gone mad, I don't think. She's just going through some stuff. I have no idea what, but something's gnawing at her to the point of self-destruction. Not good, but not mad. Eh, hey, you probably know better than me. You spent the night making sure she wasn't concussed to the point of damage. Which, frankly, I can only explain by Adric intervention and maybe quick enough application of one of Zaytas' beefed-up healing potions. By all rights, she should not be alive. Okay, all right, hold up. I'm entirely lost. What... what happened? Why? How? Ulfric told us to go take back Riften and that he held her personally responsible for it. So she decided, on what logic, I have no idea, to go take the fort alone along with whatever Stormcloaks were down there. Z and I went after her, obviously, which is part of the reason she's still alive. You didn't... I swear by Mara, I did not bite her. Although... <laughs> you see what I mean now, right? Meanwhile, back on the topic, yes, we also came to ask you to come back. I realize fighting your own folks must be hard for you. I have the luxury of being on the same side as my late son and can fight to keep those beside me safe because any one of them could end up the way he did. And I realize you don't have that luxury. I know it's rough. I know just how rough. And... Well, now I can see how at home you are here, teaching, doing Archmage things. You seem like you fit in here in a way that you haven't all of the other times I've seen you, other than maybe the war table back at the House of Troubles, which makes me, actually, legitimately regret asking, but... Will you come back? Give me a minute, I need to think. Think or stick your head in that enchanting table again. No, I mean, actually think this time. No pressure. Well, some pressure, but I can leave if... No, just... Think out loud. Seems to work better for you. True, right, okay. I'm absolutely terrified of fighting. I'm scared of losing people. Hearing about Kinoa is a bit of a slap in the face, I'll admit, because now I'm kicking myself over the fact that I should have been there to step in. Believe me, I tried. She was dead set on that. I'm also probably one of two people in Tamriel who actually knows what's going on there. We haven't talked about what I saw in the scrolls, aside from a few vague comments here and there, and that's a conversation long overdue at this point, considering... well... this. <sighs> you read. I'll tell you later. Or he will. I will. I'm coming back with you. I need to get changed first, since I'd rather not get blood all over these robes, but I am coming back. I won't fight. I don't think I'm quite adjusted enough to that idea yet, but I'm going to at least come back and talk to Kinoa. That was fast. What changed? A long conversation with Dominique, during which time she turned me into the emotional equivalent of a dead briar heart, a healthy amount of soul-searching this time, and the fact that Kinoa nearly died. Take your pick. Dom was here? Yeah, briefly. She left last... night, which is... Damn, she wouldn't have got there in time either. Z waved to the guard outside Redwater. She'll probably assume she just missed us. <laughs> Alright, let me get my coat on and we can start heading back. Uh, time? Time means nothing to a man who can summon fog. <laughs> Alright, I've got to see you do this. Ah, uh, I'm just going to leave you boys alone for a bit and meet you downstairs. And the gloves. Freshly enchanted, hopefully mended, 
I just realized I probably should have put resist fire on them. Oh well. Hindsight, right? Indeed. You look good. I was kind of missing your armor instead of the... The bulky ones. Right, easy for you to say. Shall we? Lead on. Jeez, you've got a spring in your step today. <laughs> well, I mean... Never mind. Uh... Oh, lovely. The fact that I can still fluster you after however many months. Don't, don't, don't even go there. Uh, yeah, Vita. Shall we away? After you. It is freezing out here, I'll have you know. So I'll stay behind you since one of you has to summon fog and whatnot. Oh, right, let me... Let me get that situated. Uh, fog. That is not what I want. Okay. There we go. That should help. Jeez. Have some fog. This is a bit thick, don't you think? Uh, well, it blocks the sun, which is what it's supposed to do, so I think it's... Um... Does its job. What kind of spell is that, anyway? Actually, it's a variation on uh, an old alien spell. Really? How do you know alien magic? Uh, well... Um... Long study? Uh... Mostly having to deal with Arncano? Oh, I won't press it then. No, uh, the study is fine. I'm okay talking about that. Uh, if I ever told you, you know, talk to you about dawn magic and whatnot. Uh, I'm familiar with the idea. I have no idea what goes into it. Do, you hang on. Yeah. It smells like were- Whoa! Right. Werewolf. I completely forgot, and then I remembered. You two came up this way, didn't you? Yeah, we did. Okay, that's what I'm smelling. That's- Okay. Less worried now. Uh, right. Where Dawn- Magic. Right, so, um... Just gathering my thoughts. Uh, and the mages are back. The what? Uh, did you see the... The horse? No? Yeah, we've probably got some kind of battle mage doing battle mage things. Probably over here trying to spy on Ulfric, as they do. Dawn magic, right. So, yeah, Onkano and I used to... Well, Onkano and Sigwin and Lopdeer and I... Oh, this is going to be good, isn't it? <laughs> uh, well, we all were on various and sundry expeditions generally relating to uh, alien ruins 
Jeez, they got the replacement out here real quick. Huh? Don't worry about it. Actually, if you could put more fog in the sky, that'd be great. On it. That's interesting. Um... Do we want to deal with that? I wonder which one of us that person is after. After you. Alright. Really? How many people does it take to take down one Argonian assassin? Apparently three. Uh, Dark Brotherhood it looks like. Not Dark Brotherhood. Don't worry about it. There's some... I'm not even gonna bother with the note there. I have no idea what's going on and frankly I can't be bothered. I have more important things to worry about. What? Uh, I don't know. Sometimes... Sometimes, Cayman, you... Duh! Confound me. You want to get out of the way when I'm about to fling a fireball? You want to not fling fireballs while we're in the way? Yeah, that's a very good point. <laughs> That's a very good point. Let me, uh... What was I talking about? Oh, right. They, they tend to carry notes nowadays that say death to the pretender or something. Yeah. You have any idea what's going on there? I already told you I don't. Right. You were talking about dawn magic about 15 minutes ago, maybe? Right, I was getting to that. Um, we all studied Iliad things. That's interesting. What about that's doing there? Hello. Of course you go for him! Ah! Uh. Careful, 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 she's gonna... Yep, figured it out. Are you okay? I'm fine. Barely scathed. You worry me. You worry me. <sighs> you almost said it, didn't you? You almost said what? Yo, I don't. You can. Uh, I. You're smiling. I can tell you're smiling. I don't even need to see your face to say to tell that I need to summon the fog again, don't I? You're adorable. Don't. <laughs> right. So how do you do that, Mr. Dawn Magic? <laughs> if you two are quite done flirting... <sighs> he... is... the worst. Um... If I could focus for five minutes, that'd be great. Right, Dawn Magic. Um... So there's two... Uh, it's, there's not a lot that's survived about Dawn Magic. As far as I've been able to tell, the only... Uh, the only people who actually practice any any the only ones with any surviving knowledge of dawn magic actually are your people the skull which is why uh lobdier was on our research team because he knew some of the old stories and whatnot presumably because he was married to you for a while that does follow what kind of dawn magic do you think we have uh well there's two there are generally two kinds that are said to have sub- Oops. Sorry. I got stuck in a bush. 
<laughs> Happens to the best of us. Um, there are generally two surviving uh, types of magic that are considered to be dawn magic. One of them is shapeshifting that isn't tied to her scene, and one of them is weather control. A friend of mine, well, an acquaintance of mine, Halden, actually was really, really good at weather control, and he was the one who... Uh, take a breath. Take a breath. He was the one who actually... Um... Really solidified the research that allowed me to eventually figure out how to do this. Did you say Halden? Uh, yeah, why? Red guard? Yeah. Oh. I didn't realize he was a friend of yours. What? Do you know Halden? Well, no is a matter of semantics, I suppose. We met once. Um... You know he's dead, right? Uh, yeah, he died somewhere out in the sea. Yeah. Shame that, but I didn't really know him that well, so... Well, uh... Good, I think. Can we please get going? It is freezing, this fog is very dark, and... True, true, and we're almost back. Uh, do we want to go over the... Let's just go through, shall we? I don't particularly feel like taking a swim, short though it may be, through a very, very icy river. The fog has vanished once again. Great. Do you have a limit on how many times you can do that? Not really. Also, by the way, speaking of Dawn Magic, I've considered that, um, Kinoa Shouting might actually be another one. Another form of Dawn Magic. A close relative, cousin, something. Simply because of the fact that she can do things like control the weather, which I've already talked about. Oh, the rambles are strong with me today. Good grief. Hi, Hi. mister! Would you like to buy some flowers? Please? Miss, you walked out right in front of you. You scared me. I'm sure. <laughs> Sorry if I ran into you. Not much, but I hope you like them. What are you doing with Nightshade? Uh, how about that? And... Right, I've just remembered that he doesn't really do flowers because he's a Bosma. Um... Sure, uh, how about... I'll take a red one. And wish you luck on your Stop day. By again. Yeah, I I probably will. I'm not usually in the area. Where? Please, won't you buy a flower? I did. I just wanted to know where are your parents? They're, they're dead. My mama died when I was little. I, I don't remember her very well. My father was a stormcloak soldier. One day he left and didn't come back. I'm all alone. I, I try to sell flowers so I can buy food. It's not much, but what else can I do? Ah, uh, yeah. Thank. Oh. Kid's got a mind of her own. I just wanted to say I've- Buy some flowers? Pretty please? Uh, not me. Just wanted to say I've been there, and it gets better, I promise. If you're ever in need of a place to stay that's nice and warm and not- not full of storm cloaks and and smelly nords and whatnot. Uh, we actually own the big house right across the road from here. So if you ever want to stay there, I I I think 
I think we'd all be in agreement that you'd be welcome there. So, hang in there. What's your name? Sophie? Hang in there, Sophie. I didn't really know you had a soft spot for kids. Yeah, it's always been kind of a conundrum, actually. Uh, a personal one. Really? Yeah, I'm... Hmm. I suppose it's kind of a double conundrum now. Conundrum in what way? Well, you know... I'm not exactly into women. I've always kind of wanted to be a father. You could adopt. And that's where it's a double conundrum because now I'm a vampire. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but you know, it's, it's not exactly the kind of life that I would want to subject, subject a child to. I don't know how... And now there's you, so I don't really... This, that, that's a conversation I'm not ready to have, frankly. Understood. Ah, uh, home sweet home. Sort of. Kind of. Kinoa was in the sauna when we left her. Well, actually, she probably has gone to bed by now. Right. And you two have to go take off for the rift, don't you? Oh, right. Did I say rift? Uh, possibly. You meant reach. I meant reach. That... That little girl just now. Yeah, what about her? Similar story to my own, but on the opposite side. And... Somehow I hadn't connected the fact that... That kind of thing happens to both sides, so it really doesn't matter which side I fight on. You don't have to fight. Not right now. Yeah. Um... Good luck in the reach. If I may offer the tiniest bit of parting advice, it is please, please, please don't split your forces. I heard what happened at Newgrad. I... Don't go... I mean, okay, sneaking in the back way is alright if you have a large enough force at the front, or if you have a large enough force doing the sneaking, that you can just... Just... Uh, think... Think rationally about this before you split your forces. Next time, if there is a next time, I would highly recommend just charging at the front, actually, since everyone here is pretty powerful and breaking ranks or breaking lines or whatever is something that we can all do quite easily. Uh, and I... I won't keep you. Good luck out there. <laughs> Good luck dealing with Kinoa. Yeah, could you... Uh, one more before you take off? Yeah. We'll see how far we can get before we have to stop again. Anything for you.